Hi, I'm Dr. Crystal Wood Nicholson, and you all know Healthy Harry. Today we're going to talk about the NPIP, the National Poultry Improvement Plan. There's a plan to make us better? Absolutely. The NPIP was set up in the 1930s to coordinate state programs to eliminate diseases from commercial poultry breeding farms. You mean like avian influenza and salmonella? You got it. And mycoplasma disease too. The NPIP helps breeders and hatcheries keep their birds healthy and free from diseases. What about a small farm? Could a place like this become a participant in the National Poultry Improvement Plan, Dr. Chris? The NPIP is for poultry farms of all sizes. It's important to have clear guidelines to follow so birds and facilities are clean, safe, and healthy. Well, that makes sense. It's better and safer to get young birds from an NPIP certified hatchery or breeder. Today we're going to explore guidelines to help you learn more about biosecurity and the resources that the NPIP offers. Sounds like a plan, Doc. Let's start with some facts. With more people raising backyard flocks, understanding and educating them about the health risks associated with live poultry is really important, especially in homes with high-risk individuals. High risk? Oh, you mean children, seniors, and people with weakened immune systems. Right, but also new flock owners who might not have much experience. Hey doc, if these germs are dangerous, what's the plan? Keeping birds in their areas clean and safe are the most effective ways to prevent disease. NPIP programs and guidelines help breeders, hatcheries, and small flock owners and farmers succeed in protecting their birds and their surroundings. By becoming an NPIP facility, they can get thorough training for themselves and their employees. And this training will reduce salmonella contamination and other problems? Cause I heard that eggs can also become infected by salmonella. Absolutely. To prevent any germs, eggs should always be cooked until the egg yolk is firm. It's also wise to cook any foods containing raw eggs thoroughly. To really understand appropriate biosecurity measures, the NPIP has a checklist to follow on its website, and your state NPIP office is also available to help you. Hey Doc, does the NPIP check up on you? You bet. To maintain certification, NPIP participants will be subject to a system of random inspections at least once a year. Records of flocks maintained primarily for hatching eggs are inspected annually, too. Okay, so what determines eligibility? The NPIP is open to all producers who can make their poultry, game bird, rat tight, or waterfowl facilities meet the plan requirements. So, becoming an NPIP participant is smart, no matter how big or small your flock is. Right again, Harry. If you would like more information on the NPIP, you can find it easily on our website aphis.usda.gov or poultryimprovement.org. Thanks for watching.